Our own Andy Martino reported on Monday that the Mets are still unsure if DeGrom wants to return, but that there is strong mutual interest with Edwin Diaz, and the Mets do love Nimmo, the player, and the person. So, Omar, there's a lot there. What would be your top <laughs> priority this offseason? Well, my top priority is going to be DeGrom. To me, this thing's built up on pitching, power pitching, so the Grom is the guy for me. And then, of course, what does it need? It needs power. So there's one guy in the Bronx. If I'm, I'm going for the best, <laughs> we're the Mets. We're here to win. I'm going for the bets. I'm going to do everything I can to explore if I can get that guy, that big guy in the Bronx and his 62 home runs. You want power? You want power. <laughs> right. I mean, listen, if I'm the Mets, I wouldn't want power. And right. to me, no to me the, if you want power, go get the best power. Don't well, be, I know you're in New York. would have made the call because you were a very adventurous GM well, and you were a very aggressive GM. Right. And I think Mets fans like that about yep, you. Yep. You absolutely make that call. And I'm right there with you with yep. DeGrom. DeGrom needs to be brought back here. I think the bigger question with Jake is Jake a guy who wants to be here? We know the yeah. Mets can pay Jacob DeGrom. Does Jacob DeGrom want to be a New York Mets? So, yeah, you make the call about Aaron Judge. I think he's staying in the Bronx, but that's a story for a different day. But Carlos Rodon, I'd swap him for Chris Bassett. Well, your top priority would be what, DeGrom? DeGrom, number one. Yeah. And then I'm calling a big bats. Okay. I need a big bat on this team, whether it's Trey Turner and I'm moving him to center field. Yeah. Xander Bogarts maybe could go and play a different position. And, yeah, you guys can make that call. Yeah. You're getting a no, but you can make the call. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's and see. I think DeGrom has to be the top priority, period. But I would want a, an offensive catcher. And I understand there's the James McCann factor and everything else, but I would want an offensive catcher for this team, uh, a guy that can really, really handle a pitching staff. Wilson Contreras, perhaps, if he's available. Is that a possibility? I don't know. You're all Those, looking at me like office, I'm crazy. He's an offensive there catcher. There you go. Thank you, Omar. I like Chris Vasquez. That's right. a guy I right. love Vasquez. He's a good There you Vasquez. go. Then we got well, you. Winner. Go get one. The problem is they have McCann under contract and Alvarez potentially coming up as well. Understood. So who knows when Alvarez is going to be ready he might be your to DH handle stuff. the staff. Or, exactly. How about Nimmo? Nobody touched on Nimmo love here. Of the love Nimmo. Nimmo. Listen to love me. Nimmo. If you can't get that power bad, then you go to Nemo for me. And I'm a big believer in signing your homegrown guy. Yeah. Nemo's a homegrown guy. Love the guy. I'm base guy. You got to go out. If you can't fit him in, that's the guy from an office. Yeah, the problem is you can't bring back everybody right. and have the same group, right? So that's why if you want, and we joke around about Aaron Judge, but realistically, I mean, that's the bad out there. That's the big bad. Yep. Go make a run on him. Now, if you do that, can you get DeGrom as well? I don't know. That's a lot to ask. 